Attorney General Eric Holder said this spring that he's concerned that some of the big banks, he didn't name specific banks, may be too big to prosecute because of the impact that that prosecution could have on the national economy or, he said, even the global economy. Do you agree with him? Does he have a point here? If you get a big enough economic mess for a country, you can't afford to have a big attack on your ba banks at the same time. So in that sense, he's right. Does that, does that bother you? Does that concern you? Obviously, you guys have positions what? in these banks, so you don't want to see them prosecuted, but... No, I... This is my personal opinion. This is not necessarily Warren's or Berkshire's opinion. I think the bank should be more heavily regulated. There should be fewer things they're allowed to do, and they should do it with more simplicity. Uh, I don't think we should have vast derivative books in banks with insured deposits. I think that was a fundamental error that we ever allowed it. So one of the latest proposals, Brown, Vitter, or basically just increasing capital requirements for banks, is that something that we need? Do we need more stringent, frankly, regulation of, of, of banks I beyond think, what Dodd-Frank does? I think if does? you increase the capital requirements and let them do whatever they wish, they'll get in trouble again. I think you need to prevent banks from doing what a lot of them want to do. It is so tempting to run a great derivative book and make a lot of money without making any real contribution to civilization or doing much for anybody. Or, banks and so take they, big they, issue they with like that doing and it. Who, who talk doesn't? about the lending that they do. But lending is what banks are supposed to do. That greases the wheels of Underwrite, in the world. Underwriting? I, I don't think, I think it would have been okay if underwriting never went near the banks. But, if, but they, in Canada, they're allowed to do underwriting. I think it would be okay if they did some ordinary underwriting. It's the trading books that I think is such, where, where I think the poison is. Do, do you think that the U.S. banking sector still poses a risk to the global economy? Well, maybe not tomorrow, but do I think our situation is fixed for the long pole? The answer is no. Do you think it's even significantly better? Oh, well, sure, it's better from the low point. Uh, at the low point, they were all berserk. But I don't think we ought to have derivative books in the trillions and trillions of notional value and bank reports that nobody can possibly understand what's really going on by reading the report. So, that is not what a bank should be. It should be a more simple, straightforward business if it's going to get deposit insurance from its government. So Berkshire has significant stakes in Goldman Sachs, Wells Fargo, Bank yes. of America. Um, these are banks that participate in what you oppose. Have you ever talked to Warren about or have you considered on your own pulling out of those investments? Or is that No, no. We kind of live in the world as it is and we don't expect the government policy to be the policy that we would make or the companies we invest in, we don't expect them to agree with us on all subjects. So, and you're asking me questions about what would be my prescription for the country. Mm -hmm. Well, that would obviously be different than the prescriptions of our leading bankers. But I'd be delighted to have banks more simple, more restrained, more constructive, way lower trading operations. They'd be less I think an ideal bank is pretty boring. They'd be less profitable. But would you still invest in them? I'm not sure they would over a full cycle. Mm -hmm. Because if you make a lot of money for many years and then lose three quarters of it back, as some of our banks did, you know, how profitable were they when they thought they were making all that money? It wasn't destined to remain with them. You can argue it was illusory.